Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez. I'm a 3D artist using SolidWorks Visualize. Today in quick tips, using cut planes. What is a cut plane? It's a type of geometry that exists within Visualize that allows you to slice through meshes to reveal the internal components. It's a useful tool to tell a better story with your CAD data. So something that I wanted to mention is that the cut planes are available on all versions of Visualize. However, uh, this, in this demo, we'll be animating them, and that is a feature that's only limited to the SolidWorks Visualize Professional version. So for this demo, we'll be using uh, this product right here. So to add a cut plane, uh, it's very simple. We're going to just go into the Models tab, and then we're going to click the plus, And you'll see right in the middle, there's the new cutting plane. So we're going to click on it. You'll see this light gray uh, overlay in a portion of it. If I back up, you can kind of see it. Um, if I now uh, enable uh, the object manipulation tool here, you'll see the gizmo that allows you to cut in and cut out of, uh, of the plane. And, and the interesting thing about this is that it behaves like any other plane. So if you rotate it, if you move it, Right? It'll allow you to uh, to cut it just as if it was any other plane intersecting another mesh. Uh, something really great about it as well is that you can add multiple planes. So say we want to uh, slice it in a couple different ways. Say we can slice it here and then in the transform options we click flip. Right, So you can see that it's cut from behind. And now we add another cutting plane. We can also, so we can cut sections of it, really like a slice of it, where you can see how it, if I deselect it, you can see how we can just see only the portion that we'd like to see. Something else that's really cool is that you can flip them like you saw, or you can uh, deactivate them um, by selection. So let's say I don't, I want to just uh, enable the cut plane that we uh, the second one I created so we can go back to the first one and we untick visible and now only one is enabled Great perfect. So we like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna create a video um, And I'm going to start fresh with this one. So I'm gonna erase this one here First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a short animation using a cut plane so the animation is gonna be by I'm first gonna show the timeline you can go into view show timeline or you click uh, hold control and press l i'm going to now right click on the cut plane and say um, add keyframe so it shows up and then i'm gonna say i'm gonna go all the way up to let's say five seconds drag this to five seconds and i'm going to slide the cut plane to say somewhere around here all right so now if i play that back let's hit play you see it cut through and it, this works on all rendering modes on preview or on accurate or fast all right so that works well so let's now expand this a little bit more and the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a camera flight so you can do a nice soft pan. I have a camera already set up here. I'm going to unlock it. We're going to set it at start time. And we're going to right click and say uh, add keyframe. And somewhere around, let's make it like eight seconds. Now maybe seven seconds. We're gonna move a little bit closer, get a nice shot there, rotate a little bit, and you could see that um, uh, the keyframing is automatic. So now as you scrub back, you see how, let me go back here, I moved the wrong flag here. You could see how as the camera moves closer, the cut plane reveals the internals. So I went ahead and rendered this out like a video and I already have I already have the components here so you could see it and the final uh, movie and 
and that's the final result. All right, guys, hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.